What's up, Crusaders? My name is Min. And my name is Paul. And you're watching HC News. Welcome back. We hope that you all took the time over the long weekend to get rest and to spend some time with your family. Last week, Holy Cross celebrated Valentine's Day with SLT's bracelet grams and wearing red, white, and pink on top of our uniforms. Here are some photos. Speaking of Valentine's Day, check out our recent drama minute, The Grey Tens Maid. Love is... We'll be following a flex schedule tomorrow and grade 9s will be having their immunization shots on Thursday. Grade 12s, if you haven't already, please check the official Grad 2022 Google Classroom for more information on yearbook, write-ups, quotes, and baby photos. Just a quick reminder that the write-ups are due on the 28th of February. So get those quotes in. The 2022 and 2023 course catalog is posted to our, to our school website and students.microsader.net. This catalog holds valu valuable information on courses that we hope to offer at the school next year for students that are going into grades 10 to 12. There is also information in this catalog about graduation requirements. The course selection process will happen soon, so all the students from grade 10 to 12 should be looking through the ca this catalog to make sure that they are getting the right information. On the 23rd, the course selection video will be released. Students will watch the course selection video in their advisory class on the 24th. Also, grades 8 to 11 need to make sure that they can access the student portal of MyEd. If you need to reset your password, make sure to go to our student page and click on the link MyEd Password Reset Form. Complete the Google form and Mrs. Fraser, our register, will send you reset instructions. You cannot enter your course selections without access to the student portal. Remember grade eights, you will work on your course selections with Ms. DeSantis after spring break. And lastly, if you have any questions about courses, do not talk to your friends for advice. Talk to your grade level advisor for help. The Learning Commons is reminding students to return any borrowed technology types, items such as Chromebooks, chargers, mouse, and calculators at the end of every day. These items are not meant for your personal at home or long-term use, unless arrange arrangements or have been made. If they are not returned, other students don't have the opportunity to borrow them, and you may be charged to replace them or have your borrowing privileges suspended. This week's Spirit Week is hosted by AML. Here are the reminders of the themes for this week. Tuesday is PJ Day. Wednesday is Pink Shirt Day. Thursday is Jersey Day. Friday is Sea of Red Day. Everyone participating, everyone participating in each Spirit Week theme must follow the themes. If you do not have any uh, outfits cor corresponding to these themes, you must be following, you must be wearing uniform. Mardi Gras will be held at the gym March 1st from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Ticket prices will be announced on Wednesday. Here's our short message from Mr. Star Park. Let's get ready to ulti! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the time has finally arrived. HC Ultimate Frisbee is back, baby. If you like basking in the warm sun, smelling the scent of freshly cut grass, and reveling in the sweet taste of victory, this sport is for you. Ultimate is a co-ed sport, so anyone, boy or girl, interested in playing this upcoming season, come and try out the week of February 22nd to the 25th. I make a Mr. Park promise that you will get in the best shape of your life and will impress your friends and family with your mad ulti skills. So see you at the tryouts. Remember to check out the TV screens for more info. Also, please be mindful of which bin you throw your trash in. Food-based and compostable waste must be discarded in the compost bins. Remember, refundables, pop cans, drink boxes, plastic drink bottles all go into the bins in the middle of the cafeteria. 
Let's do it for our HC environment and our world. And now, here's episode 7 of Simply Green and Nikki and Aaron for Theology Minute. Crusaders. This is Simply Green brought to you by the Marketing 11 class. My name is Kayla. And my name is Charlotte. And we are your new Simply Green hosts. Today we will be covering some info on fast fashion as well as interviews on some of the members of the Gel Club. Some of you may be wondering what fast fashion is. Fast fashion is clothing that is mass produced to keep up with ever changing trends. The goal of fast fashion is just that, to produce it fast. Because it is made quickly in large quantities, the clothing is cheap. However, cheap and mass-produced clothing does not have the best quality, so they are not meant to be worn more than a few times. You may be wondering why we are talking about this, and it is because of the environment. The Huffington Post reported that the average American will throw out 81 pounds of clothing in a year. This totals up to about 26 billion pounds of textiles and clothing items in the landfill in a given year. Part of this may be caused by the mass production of clothing that is led by the fast fashion industry. An alternative to fast fashion can be buying from thrift stores or buying secondhand from places such as Depop and Facebook Marketplace. This not only saves money, but it is much better for the environment. Buying from thrift stores is like recycling. Check out our thrifted clothing. Help the environment and help your bank account at the same time. Here is some information about the Gel Club as well. My name is Charlotte and I'm here with Mr. Gonek, founding father of the Gel Team. Today we're going to be asking him some questions about the Gel Team. First of all, what does Gel stand for? Well, Charlotte, Gel stands for Justice Eco Life. Great! What is Gel all about? Well, as the name might imply, Gel is all about upholding, like, I think a Catholic social teaching. So that means standing for justice for everybody, standing for the environment and good stewardship. And then also, you know, respecting life through all of its stages, okay? Great. When are gel meetings and how can people get involved? Uh, currently, with the restrictions, we don't have regular group meetings, but we do do lots of fun things. And the best thing is to just um, sign on to our Google Classroom, get the Google Classroom code, which you can see here, and uh, sign up and, and just participate in some of the awesome activities that we do. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Glenek, for your time. And feel free to check out Gel Team. I'm here with Olivia, who's an executive member of the Gel Team. So, Olivia, how is Gel working to positively impact the environment? Well, we do a lot of stuff, like, about the environment. For example, if you go outside, we have the bee boxes by the annex. We're going to plant flowers in them. And that was all, like, student-constructed. So it's very hands-on, like, a learning experience. And um, in a couple of weeks, we're actually going to do a shoreline cleanup on one of the beaches, I think. So um, students get to actually like help the environment and pick up trash themselves. Very cool. Yeah. And what are some other things that you've learned in gel? Um, in gel, I think you learn like a lot of leadership. You learn how to work with others, especially in a team. Um, all the students kind of have to work together and figure out how we're going to do things and plan all our events. So yeah, it's a good experience to learn. Nice, thank you. That's all for now. Bye, Crusaders! Salutations, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Nikki. My name is Aaron. And, and this, this is the Theology Minute. Minute. Last week, we looked at the theological virtue of love. This week, we are talking about faith. That's right, Nikki. The Catechism tells us that the theological virtues are the foundations of Christian morality. In other words, our ability to do good and our ability to resist the temptation to sin all depends on how well we form these virtues. Exactly. Our faith is based on the truth that has been revealed to us by God, which is safeguarded by the church. Nikki, could you give us some examples of these revealed truths? Sure! For example, God made each of us in His image and likeness. Therefore, we all have equal dignity. Another example would be that God is a loving and merciful Father who knows everything about us, our joys and our shames. 
and still loves us unconditionally and is willing to forgive us no matter what we have done. These are beautiful truths, but they can only truly touch our hearts if we genuinely believe in them. This is where the theological virtue of faith comes in. We actually exercise the virtue of faith in many ways in our everyday lives. Yeah, lots of us wait outside the school each day expecting our parents to pick us up. When we drive through an intersection, we expect the cars behind the red light to stop and not hit us. And when we place an order on Amazon, we expect the items to arrive by a certain time. We go through these daily experiences without giving it much thought, but they are actually exercises of faith. We trust that our parents will get us from school because they love us and want what is best for us. We trust that our Amazon orders will arrive because people are honest to the agreement that they make. And if we are willing to trust people who may fail us from time to time, we should all the more trust God, who loves us perfectly and will never fail us. That's a great point. Our faith in God changes the way we live our lives. We are more joyful and more confident because we are loved unconditionally and we can let this joy and love overflow onto others so that they may also experience God's love and mercy. Finally, the virtue of faith will motivate us to say yes to God's invitation to be with Him forever in heaven, which is the ultimate calling for each and every person. Faith is a beautiful virtue. Let us grow in our faith by seeking to know and to do God's will. That wraps up our episode for today. Just a friendly reminder that God loves you. Very well, friends. See you next, next week. Don't forget to follow Crusader Connect, Crusader Music, Athletics underscore HC, HC Student Leadership, and HC.CampusMinistry. That's all for now. Bye, Bye Holy, Holy Cross. Cross.